Allegra Profits Business Analysis and Research Program provides business management information to farm operators in the form of detailed financial analysis of their whole farm and specific enterprises, such as cow-calf, backgrounding or commercial crops. Alberta Agriculture and Forestry has produced this series of videos to help producers interpret the results of economic reports supplied to participating producers. Included in this series are five videos covering interpretation of the farm's balance sheet, income statement, cow-calf, backgrounding and crop enterprise reports. This video explains how to read and interpret the AgriProfits balance sheet using an example of the report. In particular, it explains what is covered by the report, why this is important and how to interpret the report information. The video concludes with a summary of key takeaways and contacts for any further assistance. The AgriProfits balance sheet is a year-end summary of the value of the farm's assets, liabilities and the owner's equity. Examples of assets are cash in a bank account, product inventories, machinery, buildings and investments in other enterprises. Examples of liabilities are debt to lenders, tax owed, mortgages and other obligations that are not yet paid. Equity is what is left after all claims by creditors have been paid. As a year-end inventory of all assets, liabilities and equity, the balance sheet allows the producer to monitor the overall business trend of a farm when comparing the results over several years. Also, specific measures of the balance sheet, like types of assets and liabilities, are used to calculate performance indicators known as financial ratios. These indicators are important for determining a farm's ability to pay debt, its cash position, and efficient use of the business assets. Lenders look at balance sheets to assess the farm's ability to repay debt capital. We mentioned the two major uses of the balance sheet. First, a year-end inventory of assets and liabilities. Second, information for determining the financial health of the farm business. Let's look at the AgriProfits balance sheet as a year-end inventory of the farm's assets, liabilities and equity. We will be using an example of the AgriProfits balance sheet as a guide on how to read and interpret the results. The AgriProfits balance sheet consists of three main parts, the farm's assets, liabilities and equity. The accounting equation defines the value of assets as the sum of liabilities and equity. In addition, for the purpose of business analysis, AgriProfits divides both assets and liabilities into three parts – current, with an operational lifetime of one year or less, intermediate, two to ten years, and long-term, with a lifetime of more than ten years. In general, liabilities and loan payments in particular should be structured to reflect the lifetime of the assets. For example, if the current assets account for 12% of total assets, the portion of liabilities serving those assets should also be about 12%. In our example, the portion of current assets is 12%, but the portion of the current liabilities is about 16%. It tells us the current assets are more heavily financed by loans than non-current assets. This result, however, has to be compared with other information to make a conclusion. Structure of the intermediate and long-term liabilities can be analyzed in a similar way. To understand the overall year-over-year -year progress, the producer needs to compare the balance sheet items with those for previous years. Let's examine changes in the business assets and liabilities compared with the previous year using the AgriProfits Producer Historic Performance Report. In our example, the calculated percentage change of total assets compared with the previous year is 1%, and the percentage change of total liabilities is 4.5%. This tells us that the liabilities grew faster than assets, and so a larger portion of the farm's assets is claimed by creditors. The producer needs to combine this result with other information, in particular with financial ratios, to examine the related risks. In the same way, the producer can analyze the dynamics of the farm's equity. In our example, the business equity increased by 1% compared with the previous year, which is an indication of the improvement in the overall financial health of the business. 
To get more insights into the financial position of the business, the producer needs to examine specific financial ratios. AgriProfits provides five ratios that address different financial aspects of the business. Financial ratios can be analyzed by using the trend analysis method used before, as well as the comparative analysis method. The latter compares some measures of interest with industry benchmarks or other reference points. In this video, we will compare the balance sheet financial ratios with the AgriProfits financial performance indicators published every year. The first ratio to be examined is the debt to assets ratio. This is an indicator of the business solvency and is calculated by dividing the total liabilities by total assets. To be solvent, the business needs to have this ratio less than 1. In our example, the ratio is 0 0.08, which is an indication of a strong solvency position. It is also 4 percentage points less than the corresponding AgriProfits benchmark. Both comparisons indicate good solvency and a low risk position for money lending opportunities and investments. The operating expense to revenue ratio is a financial efficiency indicator. It shows the portion of operating expenses covered by the fiscal year revenue. To have sufficient cash, a producer needs to have this ratio less than one. In our example, the operating expense to revenue ratio is 0.56, which tells us that 56 cents of every dollar of the revenue will be spent to cover the operating expenses. The remaining 44 cents is available for debt servicing, reinvestment in assets, and family living withdrawals. The value of this ratio is slightly lower than that of the AgriProfits benchmarks by four percentage points. Both comparisons indicate a relatively good cash position. The net return to assets ratio is an indicator of economic efficiency using the farm's assets. It is calculated as the ratio of the farm's net income to the value of total assets. A producer wants this ratio to be positive and also as large as possible. The generated ratio in our example is 0 0.03, meaning that the farm earns three cents of net income for each dollar of assets. This value is close to the corresponding AgriProfits benchmark, indicating a relatively good efficiency position of the business. The calculated liabilities to net return ratio is 3.11, meaning it would take about three years to repay the farm's debts if all net income goes to the debt reduction. The last ratio to be covered in this video is the profitability ratio. It is an economic efficiency indicator showing the value of net return earned per dollar of employed resources. Just like the asset return ratio, the producer wants the profitability ratio to be positive and as large as possible. The calculated ratio in our example is 0.42, meaning that each dollar spent on production generates 42 cents of net farm income. The AgriProfits data suggests that a profitability ratio between 0.25 and 0.3 provides sufficiently good cash and investment conditions for a farm business. The value of 0.42 is larger than this target, indicating the farm is in a good efficiency position. Let's briefly summarize our example. All reported financial ratios in our example indicate good financial positions. In particular, the calculated debt to assets ratio is 0.08, indicating a good solvency position. Other ratios like liabilities to net return ratio and profitability ratio are 3.11 and 0.42 respectively, indicating good efficiency positions. Comparing the results to the previous year indicates the business also improved its overall efficiency position. The owner's equity grew by 1% compared with the previous year, partly due to its increased profitability. The balance sheet itself, however, does not explain what caused these results. To get a more complete picture of the business efficiency, the producer needs to examine the AgriProfits income statement and enterprise reports supplied to program participants. This ends this module. For any questions or additional information, refer to the Government of Alberta Agriculture and Forestry landing page. AgriProfits links may be found under the Agriculture Business and Economics sections.
You can also contact AgriProfit staff directly at 780-422-4088.